Hey everybody, this is Matt from MasterSketchup.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to make casings around a door or window. Um, and actually this is part one of a series and I'm going to just show you how to use the follow me tool for this method in this video. To start with any type of casing, you're going to want to make a profile. That's what you're going to use to start um, extruding the casing around the door. So you can see here I've already got a profile drawn. There's a couple here. This is just a square one that's um, like a more architectural molding there. This is just a standard colonial casing. And you can actually import, if you have SketchUp Pro, you can import CAD files right in to SketchUp, which will allow you to um, directly manipulate it to, to, to get your profile. If you can't do that, you can also, if you want to try importing it as an image, you can do the same thing by tracing it. Um, but if you don't want to do that either, you can start from scratch. So you just start out with a rectangle, use the rectangle tool to draw a rectangle. And then you're going to want to make some guides um, because most, most of the time you're going to have some curves. So you're going to want to make some guides. That way you can use the arc tool. So just grab the tape measure tool and start making a few guides. So for instance, right here, I'm at like three eighths of an inch. So I'll just make one at three eighths. And then you want to get like this point where the arc, where the arc starts and stops. So let's say, you know, like quarter inch will be the starting point. And then we'll do the same thing here. Figure out what this distance is, eighth inch, and we'll go eighth inch. So now we can grab the arc tool and start there, start there, pull it out, tangent. So we get this nice curve right away. And then we'll make another guide to get to this point. So from here to there, it's about half inch. And grab the line tool. And make that little curve uh, return right there. And so you kind of, you just do the same thing um, throughout to get all the curves that you want and then use the eraser tool to erase the lines that you don't need anymore. Okay, so once you have your profile made, you're gonna wanna make sure that it's in a group. So to do that, you just select the entire thing by double clicking on it and then you right click and hit make group. Um, this one's already made into a group, so my op that option's not there. So then once your profile is completed and in a group, We'll go ahead and drag it down to the door. So we're going to start it down at this left corner here, but we're not quite sure where to put it. We don't want it right at this corner and we don't want it at the midpoint or anything. So we're going to have to, we'll just rest it there for now and we're going to grab the tape measure tool again and create guides uh, all the way around the door. So you can go whatever setback you want. I like to go quarter inch. So you do that here, and then you're going to want to do that at the top of the door and the side of the door as well. Okay, so we have our guides in place. And now we're going to grab the select tool, go back down to your, um, your profile, and actually we're going to use the move tool to move it right where we want it. So we'll grab that corner, go right to our guide, and now it's all lined up. So now the next step to use the follow me tool is you need to create a path for the follow me tool to follow. So let's open up this group. You have to make sure that the path and the profile are on the same group. So that's why we open this up. So take the line tool and we're gonna start right at this corner. And you're just gonna go and find all the intersections that your guides made. And 
and then this is going to be your last spot down here sometimes it's kind of hard to see the guides okay and we don't want to draw any more lines so we're just going to hit escape and that ends that the uh, execution of another line then you're going to select each line that you just uh, made and to do that you you click once to select one then you have to hold down the control key to select the other ones so once those are selected you zoom back down to your profile click the follow me tool and when you ho hover over it you can see that it becomes shaded so you just click that once and you are all set um, now you notice how it's like this grayish blue um, sometimes that happens with SketchUp and it's a really easy thing to fix and basically what this means is it got it was drawn inside out I don't know why it happens but sometimes it happens sometimes it doesn't so to fix that you just uh, double click everything and right click and go reverse faces and that fixes it for you and so there there we go and we might want to delete our our guides so we go to edit and delete guides and now we have the nice nice casing now let's say that you wanted to resize this casing that you just made maybe you're gonna change the size of your door or something like that you might think to use the scale tool but let's see what happens uh, when we do that I'm gonna just grab that side come over here you can see how it stretches the side casings it doesn't keep the same uh, dimensions it actually like like the tool says it scales it so I'm gonna hit undo and I'll show you how the right way to um, resize this you're gonna wanna actually open the component or the group rather and then if you wanted to change the height of this you would actually uh, create a selection box so you just hold down the mouse button and select all the lines at the top and then you grab the move tool and that allows you to move and you're gonna wanna lock into whatever axis uh, you need to to get that so let me click there and you can see that everything stayed uh, the, the correct dimension and you can do the same thing with uh, going left to right you just open that up create your selection grab the move tool and there you go now the disadvantage of using the follow me tool is that you you can't separate the corners the the this is kind of like an example of the kind of corner you get with the follow me tool it's not it's not separate these are both of these legs are one piece you can't you can't remove them from each other like this right here see this casing moves independently from the other casing but you can join them together if you want now that's fine I mean you don't have to have them separate like that and to be honest I use the follow me tool method all the time uh, when I do casings but if you if you did want to learn how to do that you can watch the part two of the series where we use the scale tool and uh, rotate tool to to actually rotate the face of this uh, casing if you'd like to check out some more tutorials on how to use SketchUp, just visit mastersketchup.com.